is there will be a call-out meeting for any athlete interested in participating in track this spring. The meeting will be Monday, February 4th, uh, 2.40 in the pit. See, excuse me, see Coach Rubbergast if you cannot attend. Any football player that is planning on going to Manchester team camp needs to talk to Coach Funk or Coach Green Tree by this Friday. Any girl interested in playing softball this year will need to attend a call-out meeting on today at 5.30 p.m. in the cafeteria. Music, the NFL halftime show started up the intro to Sweet Victory, but I've changed it to sicko mode, which angered hundreds of thousands of people on social media. <laughs> Movies. Avengers Endgame trailer was released, well, a snippet of the trailer, about a 45-second snippet, was released during the Super Bowl. Gaming, the Groundhog Day movie gets a sequel, and it's a VR game. It's technically not a sequel. No. It's just a VR game of Groundhog Day. Local news, Indiana is now one of the most animal-adopted states in the country. We did something good. Woo. Wacky headlines, a toy shop owner throws a tantrum. He's a kid at heart. Okay. World news, a major bank robbery took place in Antwerp, Belgium, as robbers used the sewers to break into the Antwerp bank and steal thousands of dollars from the bank. The robbers have yet to been caught. An old movie called The Italian Job. It had uh, Jason Statham in it. I'm ready for the Antwerp job. Mm-hmm. Weather. Tomorrow weather is cloudy with a high of 39 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 33 degrees Fahrenheit. Lunch for tomorrow is going to be spaghetti with meat sauce, breadstick, tossed salad, and a fruit slushie. Sports, the wrestling team had three wrestlers compete at the Peru Regional on Saturday, and all three advanced to the Fort Wayne semi-state on Saturday. Cortland Smith finished in third place at 150 pounds. Kyler Funk finished in second place at 182 pounds, and Andrew Cruz finished in fourth place at 220 pounds. Good luck to all three wrestlers at semi-state on Saturday. Excuse me. Have a great day, Mitchell.